What is up guys? It's Awana Turtle and today we're doing a Yu-Gi-Oh! opening. We're opening up another one of these boxes of dual power. This has just been a really fun set to open. At first I had major hesitations about doing this just because um, there's only like six packs in this and however the set is just so strong and um, compared to like Infinity Chases where you get a lot of like hollows and stuff like that but they're all super <laughs> they're all super bad. Uh, this one is kind of like completely the opposite. They're all really strong. So many cool cards in here. A lot of uh, great cards to pull. So we're going to see if we can't do get any of those. And let's just jump right into it. All right. More dual power. Let's do this, guys. So I do have the background for one side of the playmat. And then we have the other side, which we're resting on. Maybe that's a little bit too much for the background, a little too busy, but hey, that's just how much we're enjoying dual power. We're really embracing it. So, we have our promo cards. We'll probably keep this one sealed, but it does come with some pretty cool stuff. And then we have our six packs of dual power. Whenever the packs only have like five cards in it, or yeah, five cards in it, they feel like obviously just super empty. It seems like the pack itself is the same like size so all right six cards as far as what we want obviously we're going for that infinite impermanence uh however i would like to pull some more hand traps just a mechanic that i really enjoy um although actually i i i really like traps in general but uh, the hand traps is just very cool so we have a tactical exchanger looks like a borolo dragon or something like that just adjust my mic. And then we have ah, the chair. Star Seraph Sovereignty. It's literally a chair. A security dragon. And then a El Shadal Construct. And then Stardust Wish. So nothing crazy in that pack. We got the chair. Let's see how many chairs we can pull. Alright, on to pack number two. Okay, Predator Plant, Dragos, Drapella, Spelia, Double Hero Attack. Ooh, there we go. Ghost Bell in Haunted Mansion. Very nice. So let's just take a look. Basically, if they ever add a card from the graveyard to the hand, this will block it. Uh, special Summon a Monster card from the graveyard, this will block it. Or Banish cards from the graveyard. Uh, all three of those are things that happen a lot these days. And then we have a Arrow Mage Rosemary. El Shadal Fusion. So very nice pack right there with our Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion. Uh, yeah, so I've been watching, there's some really good YouTube channels where you can kind of just like watch um, kind of like duels where, um, you know, they use like, not not always Medifying Dice, but just different uh, archetypes for, and in, in the modern, uh, with modern sets. And like the turns are absolutely absurd. It takes like five minutes for the first person to, to go and like, old school Yu-Gi-Oh and I did play it's like I summon a monster maybe I set a trap card or two and then that's it it takes about like three seconds and now it's like you literally special summon like 20 things and you have a massive board on turn one it's uh it's crazy and there's just so many combinations right now it's uh I feel like the the game is more around just not make, make uh having the optimal um not missing your combos as opposed to, I don't know, it just feels like the engines are so easy to get online these days. And so when it comes to like, oh, why they're doing speed duel, from that angle, I, I understand. I'm just, my beef with speed duel is kind of like the strength of the cards initially. Um, and obviously it's going to creep up, but like the baseline is just so low. All right, let's get back to the cards. We got a design. Divine Serpent, I don't know how to say that. Uh, a couple other channels they just refer to them as Geh. Elemental Hero Grand Merge. So many Elemental Hero cards lately. A Beat Cop from the Underworld. Ooh, look at this thing. Looks like, uh, ooh, the Ultron is assembled or whatever. Uh, Super Quantal Mech King Man, <laughs> Great Madness. And then, ooh, Wing Dragon of Ra, Immortal Phoenix. 
Ra gets so many cool, so many cards compared to the other guys. All right, we got two packs left. Uh, so far, this has been a good opening, but we're definitely going to need more to make this box worth it. All right, let's see what we got. Red, <laughs> this name is super long. Red, hot red dragon, archfiend, king, calamity. <laughs> Tactical exchanger. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't even know this was possible to get like two of the same hand trap in the same box. So there we go. We got another ghost bell in haunted mansion. A shit all construct. And then a Link Disciple. So, double Ghost Bells. Very happy with that. Alright, on to our last pack of Dual Power. So, this has been an awesome box. I think feel like those two Ghost Bells um, could easily pay for the box. Alright, we got another Red Hot Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. I feel like it's like when... Uh, Kind of like medieval or like Game of Thrones when they introduce someone who has like all these titles. Goki Jet Ogre? Oh my gosh, this is so many hand drafts in this box. We got an Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Very nice. You know what? The chair is going away. We just want to show off the hand drafts. Chaos Farm, nice. And then Necroz Kaleidoscope. So, very strong box. Um, yeah, you got hand traps guys because uh, we got a lot in this box we have two ghost bells in haunted mansion as well as the ash blossom and joy spring very happy with that opening and uh, yeah that was a very nice box um, definitely probably our best box so far as far as the dual power openings go and uh, yeah loving this set uh, and uh, if you are enjoying this set or enjoyed the content please hit that like button down below um, if you're not already subscribed uh, please hit that button the sub button uh, just so you know when we do future videos we do a video a Pokemon video every day and Yu-Gi-Oh! slash magic um, about every other day so definitely a lot of content uh, to come and we're hoping to maintain that schedule for the time being uh we do giveaways every once in a while especially when we hit certain sub goals um we haven't done a Yu-Gi-Oh one yet so maybe that's something we'll do in the near future um and yeah a lot of more Yu-Gi-Oh stuff to come we got some new sets on the way and uh yeah it's just a great time to be opening up different trading cards and trading card games and I've been loving uh, every moment of it so uh, as always thank you everyone for all your support all the subs people that uh, like the videos and sub comment uh, in the comment section um, and that's all we have for today I'm Awana Turtle and I'll catch you guys next time peace